here talking Married at First Sight. So this is for episode two. How many episodes do we have? Two? <laughs> this is not for the premiere episode. This is for this episode after that. Um, episode three just came out yesterday. I haven't watched it yet. Um, so hopefully I can, you know, get into that with you guys shortly. But, um, Married at First Sight. We're just going to jump right into it because, again, we're treating these as bonus episodes for now and eventually it can be booted up to um, something else. Um, maybe when we have the time, which I don't know when we will, um, or maybe if it picks up a little bit, then we can get into it. So I'm not going to talk for very long, honestly, because there's not a lot that I want to talk about. Um, because right now we're just kind of at the weddings and stuff, the dress tuck shoppings, which as you would kind of know from Love is Blind, I don't give a shit about. Um, I think everyone looks fantastic um, for the most part. I think so far my favorite dress would be, and again, I don't know names, but the girl with the pink hair, I thought her dress looked very, it was a very unique style dress. So maybe that's why I was kind of drawn to it. But honestly, in all honesty, like, I, I don't really care about that part. I'm here for the drama. So, yeah. So far, I've, everyone, well, these fourth couples have said their ideas. They're married. We're, I think we have one more that's still coming, which has happened now probably on the third episode. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have much to say on that. But what I do want to talk about... Um, Again, this will be very brief. That I do want to talk about is um, Michael, who we know was shown as the person who got jilted at the altar. So I really like him, and I'm very upset for him that this did not work out for him. I think this is a person who, you know. All quirkiness aside, all that shit aside, he, he seems to know what he wants. He's he's probably I think he's maybe one of the older men there. He's thirty eight, and I, I I don't have an issue with his tattoos, his neck tattoos, his, the, the style. Um, yes, maybe the clothing dependent on what it is, but everything I've seen him in so far, I I have no issues with. So. And yes, you, you do have to maybe find someone who's able to look past that quirkiness and um, him being eccentric and all of that. Like, I understand all of that. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this is a person who clearly knows what he wants, is determined to get what he wants. Um, maybe he's in the wrong place because he says he's been struggling with finding somebody who he can commit to since living in Colorado. Maybe the place that he needs to be is in California or um, I'm sure you can find somebody who's fine with that in Florida. Don't go to the South aspects of like the really South. When I mean South, I know Florida's South, but um, obviously, but I mean more like, yeah, the redneck South. Cause they're not, they're not gonna. Yeah. Like Tallahassee, maybe stay away from there. But um so yeah, I but I'm sure there's some areas in Florida where you could go and he can be Miami, where he can be um that way, maybe in somewhere in Vegas or Nevada, but I'm saying I'm thinking more of Vegas, honestly. So there are places that he could go. Maybe this is Colorado is not his place. But again, maybe he's in Colorado because of work. So you gotta take that into consideration as well. So I just thought, like, this isn't the place for you. You need somewhere else where you can let your freak flag fly. You know what I mean? Um, so that is, again, that aside, I really do like him. And I wanted, I would have wanted this for, to work for him. I would have loved to see him on this, on this um, going forward. And maybe we will to some capacity, but I don't know. And what upsets me is we see him going to 
uh, the altar. And I, let me just say this is that we don't know what he gifts his wife to be. We don't know anything. We'll get, we'll get into that, but we see her gift to him, which seems to be so fitting to him. It's like a sword. He was gifted, um, a crown. There's something else that he got as well. That's all very much him. And it shows that's his personality. And we see him kind of going in with the crown on. He has a sore. Like he's, you know, he's, did I think that was maybe much? Because I was thinking, don't wear the crown. <laughs> but yes, I do think it wasn't a lot for me. But I also understand why he was doing it. He was doing it because he's like, I want to show off these gifts that she gave me that I really like. And I want to show her the appreciation of these things. So I, yeah, I understood that. So anyway, he's at the altar and we see him like his, his side of, 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 of like his side of the wedding is just like hyping him up and he's like yeah yeah like they're just hyping him up and he's loving this and he's so you can just tell on his face like he's so appreciative of it and then he does say to her side friends and family hi i'm michael like you know i get this is crazy like he's interacting with them but what i noticed was that they weren't showing her family. So at first I'm thinking, are they just not showing her side, uh, her family, because it's supposed to give it away a as to who this person is? I don't know, but you don't even hear them talking. We don't, we don't hear any of that. We, we don't see them. We don't, nothing. And I'm thinking, it's not going to give anything away because I don't know who this person is. If she, they showed her face during the process of choosing who's who and who's going to be with who, I don't remember who that is. I only remember those people who have been matched already. We know who have been matched. So I don't remember this person. I, I don't remember there being another face. Now, maybe if I saw her, but I jogged a memory, but I, I didn't see I, I don't know. I don't I don't understand why that would have been an issue. So that's what I'm thinking at first. I'm thinking, are they just trying to like really leave this to the end? Uh, so that to the bitter end, so we don't know who this is. And I thought was weird. And then we see her come in and we can see that she has brown hair. Um I I I'm not sure if maybe she was maybe Asian of some sort or maybe Caucasian, but maybe even I'm going to, I wouldn't even say Latina just because, or Latinx, just because um, they tend to have a little bit more, you know, so a little more flair. And I just didn't see that in this person. So I'm like, okay, I don't think that's, I think it's maybe one of those two. And, but again, we don't know because I haven't seen her. We don't, we don't know who she is, but we see her with the veil, the hair, the dress. I can't remember what her dress was looked like because again we're just seeing it from the back i think it was more of a poofy dress like maybe a little more of a like a uh, cinderella dress not as big as that but it it kind of looked like that but hard to tell because I, I don't honestly i don't always notice whether this is very easily i can tell that but i don't always pay attention to that i pay attention to the dress design and that if i'm going to be paying attention um i didn't i don't know we know nothing so we see her we're, we're behind her as she's going up the aisle so we're seeing him and his um reaction to seeing her so we're seeing that and then all the time we're seeing from her point of view we're not seeing from his point of view so i'm thinking okay all right, so when do I get to see her? Because I'll, I'll get to my issue here in a minute. So when do we get to see her? Like, I, I, I want to know who this person is because I already know she's jilting him. We've seen that. I want to see who the fuck this person is. But she says to him, 
I don't think I can marry a stranger. The fuck? You knew what you were signing up for. You knew you were signing up for, um, for Merit at First Sight. What do you mean you don't think you can marry a stranger? It's, that's literally the whole premise. Married at first sight. You don't see each other. <laughs> if that's the case, you didn't want to marry a stranger, then you should have been on Love is Blind. I don't know what to tell you. But I'm just like, what do you mean you can't marry a stranger? That's literally, we're on, what, how many seasons? How many seasons are we on? I don't even know anymore. We're on so many seasons here. We know the gist. What do you mean you can't marry a stranger? Now, do I understand that maybe you can have the nerves and we've seen people have the nerves of, am I really doing this? But they still do it. This person, this person literally is like, I can't do this. I can't marry a stranger. And we see him trying to comfort her. Or not really comfort, but like give her the encouragement, the encouragement of like, listen, this is really crazy. I know this is crazy. This is crazy for me too. But you know what? Like, I don't want to force you into anything. If you don't want to do this, that's fine. Um, I understand. And I think he was kind of hoping that my words here are going to give you the strength that you need to do this with me. Instead, it doesn't. Instead, she says, oh, he's such a nice guy. Thank you for being such a nice guy and walks away. And again, we're just seeing the back of her going down this fucking aisle and maybe some of the people who she's with go with her but again we don't see them either and i'm thinking to myself wait where are you going i need to see you first do we still get to see her i'm like waiting for the camera crew to like show her outside or something nothing i'm like what wait 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 so wait a minute okay let me just finish this up with him so he's obviously upset. He says, there was nothing I could have said. Like, my words didn't encourage her to keep doing this. She just dipped. And, like, his friends are upset for him and upset. Like, why would she do this? Waste your time. Waste our time. Waste her time. Waste everybody's time, which I agree with. And that's basically it. But there's probably going to be more information that comes up, I know, in the next episode, which has already aired. But I'm just like, well, I need to get to this part. This problem I'm going to have is with the um the editing the trailer and all that and the promise you promised us here okay married at first sight people you told us in the commercials that we were going to see for the first time someone get jilted at the altar and you know who is this mystery woman that was paired with him you made me think that I'm going to see who this person is. You gave me false hope. Now, she has gone and dipped. I don't even, I feel jilted because I don't know who she is. I'm like, wait, no, come back. Like, Rose style and Titanic, come back. Like, I'm, I, I don't understand. I don't know who she is. How dare the editing tell me that I'm going to know who she is, but I don't know who she is. I want, I need answers. I need answers. I need to see her face. That's all I want. If she said, don't show my face, I'd be like, you signed a contract. We're showing your face. You know, if you don't want to show your family, fine. We don't give a shit. We need to see your face. Like, I, no. I really hope we find out who she is. At some point through the season, I'm thinking maybe like yesterday, maybe you guys listening to this are like, wait for it. I'm really hoping because <laughs> I'm so mad. But I'm very upset because I was like, I need to know who this person is. And I'm, I hate that I don't know who this person is. Um, so I have my, I have issues. I really do. Maybe she thought she was going to be on a different show. And, <laughs> I don't know. Because it's so fucked up. I, and on the other hand, too, I also need to blame the experts because there has not been a season since fucking Atlanta with Trash Man OG that there isn't one serious fuck up in who they pick for these people and you know this is going to be an utter disaster from the jump before they even see each other and this time though we didn't even get that 
Like they just they just really fucked up before we even knew that either. Like, can we stop? Can we do a little better here? I know it has this drama thing and that's great and everything, but it's annoying, actually. It's getting to a point where I'm just like, wow. So I didn't think that anyone could be worse than the chick who was like, I'm a good person. This bitch couldn't even make it to the adus. Like, I'm just like, what's happening? Um, but yeah, I, I want to wait to do my predictions until I've watched the last episode because I need to remember who is who and I'm not there yet. Um, so I don't want to be spoiled while I try to figure out who the couples are. So I will give you my predictions for episode three. Um, I'll give you my predictions then to uh, what I think is going to happen, uh, who I think is going to last at the end and who's going to say yes or no or whatever. Um, so I'll give you my predictions at that time, but until then, this is basically it. I just really want to talk about that. <laughs> so, but again, because these are bonus episodes, we're going to keep them short. So uh, if you want to rate and review us on uh, either Apple Podcasts or Spotify, that would be greatly appreciated. Helps with our growth. Uh, you can find us on any of your favorite podcast apps, including YouTube, uh, where you can subscribe to the channel. And you can connect with us by going to either Facebook at Reality Tea Times 2, Instagram and Threads at Reality Tea Times 2 Podcast, and now X at reality t times two pod and uh we also have a reddit page but i'll have that in the comments as well so um just because i don't know that off by heart either so you can find us there and you can also email us at reality t times two at hotmail.com but that's basically it Thank you guys for being patient with me. I do know that I have a couple episodes to share with you. I'm recording this on a Thursday, so um, Golden Bachelor hasn't come out yet, but this week's episode hasn't come out yet, but I'm hoping to get that to you very soon. Um, Bachelor in Paradise, I know we're very, very behind on, but I think at this point with Bachelor in Paradise, I will watch at least, you know, batch them out because I think we'll be at four episodes um by thursday that i haven't talked about so i might do two each and we can do it like that or i can do a big one i'll figure that out but i'm behind on that guys and and uh yeah so i'll figure that out with golden with uh, bachelor in paradise and i will let you know but that is it thanks guys